Lindsay, and this is Aiden. Before I had Aiden, the thoughts of being a mother was scary. Is a boy? I thought I wouldn't cope, but just love him to bits. <laughs> The ABCD Early Years Project is working in two areas in North Ayrshire. We're not um, predetermining what we're going to do in areas. We're actually going out and we're asking people, what are your issues and what would you like done about them? I got involved because I was at a group with the Bernardo's Charity, which was running the community centre. We met Lindsay at a young mums group and we asked if people would like to become involved in the project. Lindsay and others volunteered. Baby and Child First Aid was a programme within the ABCD project and this was volunteers from the group that would be trained up. And Lindsay's now actually out delivering baby and child first aid classes Just in her tilt, area. Tilt the head back and hold your two fingers down here. Two fingers here. And two fingers on the... And mouth to nose. Mouth over nose and mouth. Mouth and nose. Yeah. It's brilliant to see the volunteers that are working with the project. When you see their confidence growing, it, it, it's fantastic. You can see them growing as people. They're out there, they're delivering the training, it's benefiting people, and they can see that in their communities themselves, and it, it's making a real difference. We've managed to talk to every single child in every single early years establishment and primary school within both of the areas, and we've communicated with all of the parents of those children. Is that if something's raised as an issue, then we have to help support people to to address that. I never thought in my life, my working life, I would be working with kids around dog poo, but that's been a real issue for people. The team has met real resistance to change, and that is around about um, professional services relinquishing power and control to members of the community. One of the scary things about change is about letting go of that power and that control over the direction of a service or what's delivered and actually trusting that communities know what they need. That's a big shift. We all make decisions and um, we all decide what can be done in the community to be better. We've done all the talking about where we want to be, what we want to achieve. We've got all the long-term outcomes. I think it's now really about going out and doing the stuff that's going to make those happen. We know the council have their own job to do, but as it's our community, we should definitely have a say.